It's your boy Reed. I'm back with another one. Okay, it's this uh, Fender Mexican Strat. Just come out here and took pictures of it. Went and loaded them up on the computer right quick. And uh, fortunately, I got those pictures in. It was a little cloud in front of the sun. And here we are again with my common problem that I talk about all the time when I'm out here. Is this reflection in this sunlight is going to really mess things up. And we got to... We got a yellow jacket in here now. That's really gonna mess things up. If I got him closed up in this guitar case, get on out of here. It's a honeybee or something. What in the world? That's funny. They call it, what do they call that color? They call that color something. I hate to kill that little thing. Look at this honeybee. He's on this tobacco burst. They think they call that tobacco burst. You got to go, buddy. I hate to have to kill this little insect. Alright, he went on. That's weird. That ain't never happened before. Alright. I thought it was a tobacco plant or something. It's a Mexican strap fender. It's been checked out. Plays good. It's in a super heavy duty hard case. And I was talking about yesterday about how the, uh, the other base that I had out here wasn't included with the case wasn't included but this one here is man that's a i mean that's it's a uh, uh hate to say bulletproof but i mean man i don't know if it's literally bulletproof but you don't see too many hard cases like this so this is a precision base fender precision base made in mexico I'm going to try to find out. Somebody asked when it was made, and I forgot to look that up. I found a website that did pretty good telling me about the one yesterday. So I'll try to, uh, I'll try to look that up as well. Anyway, like I say, this has been checked out. It's been played. It's been tested. It's in good working condition. Plays good. Just want to go over it for you. See, there's a little rust right here on that uh, on that piece, on that little screw. Or the, let's check this one and see. Now there's a ding down here. Yeah, there's a slight, little bit of rust on that one. Not too bad. But there's a good ding right there on the bottom of this. Now let's see if I can show you that a little bit better without a reflection. Maybe you can see that. That's a pretty good ding right there. There's one a smaller ding over here on this corner. And I saw another ding, was it? On the side up here. Let's see if I can show that. It's really hard to Reflection, reflection, reflection zone. Donna Ross and the Supremes out here with, with these reflections, okay? But anyways, I just wanted to uh I'm thinking that you could probably see the finish on this is really clean. I tell you, it's, uh, even though there's some dings, I really don't see much scratches on this at all. It was pretty amazing, actually. Not even on the pig I mean, there's a few. There's a few. Let's see if I can focus in on this back. Pretty color. Yeah, there's a few scratches on the back. But still, for a used guitar, it's really less than I'm normally used to seeing. We got a brick wall over there. Can you see it in the reflection? You can see everything but the guitar, right? All right. All right, so that's the Fender Mexican Strat. No, I'm sorry, no, that's not a Strat. Look, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Precision base. I'm getting mixed up there. It's a uh, Fender Precision base made in Mexico with the case. This one comes with this 
I think I looked one of these hard cases up. I don't see a brand on this, but I saw no lie. This is a used case. It's got a bunch of scratches on the case. The case has a bunch of scratches on it. But I saw a case similar to this that was in new condition for three hundred dollars online a while ago so i want to take that into account if you don't want the case you know i couldn't come down three hundred dollars on the price but i'll come down some if you don't want the case um but anyways that's a really heavy duty case right there okay